In this question, we have to determine what numbers go in each of these boxes so that when we perform these mathematical operations, the diagram is correct. And we have to start here. So we're starting with 6, and we are going to multiply by 2. Now, 6 times 2 means two groups of 6. So let me draw two groups. I'll make them circles. And we'll put 6 units in each of the circles. And then we just add up how many units we have. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we can take the number 12 and we can stick it over here into this box like so. So next we have to take 12 and divide it by 3. So this means take 12 units and break them up into three groups. So let me draw three groups then that we're going to break them up into as circles. And then I'll take the units, put one there, one there, and one there. So that's three units so far. Another unit there, another unit there, etc. So that's six so far. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So if I take these twelve units all together, break them up into one, two, three groups, how many do I have in each group? I have four units in each group. So I can take the number four and stick it into the box here, like so. So next we have to take 4 times 6, and that means that we're going to take 4 times 6 means 6 groups of 4. So let me make 6 groups, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and put 4 units in each one of them. And if we add up all these units, we'd find out that we would have 24 of them. And we can take that number and stick it into the box here, like so. Now we have all the boxes filled in, but now what we want to do is just confirm that it's correct. So we'll take the number 24, divide it by 4, and see if we get 6. So if we look at 24 divided by 4, this means to break up 24 into 4 groups. So let's draw 4 groups. And we start to put the units in each of the groups. So I put 1 here. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So if I break 24 up into four groups, how many are in each group? There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in each group, which is the right answer. So we know that we are correct. So our numbers, as we go from the start, should be 12, 4, and 24. If we look down our list of options, we can see that it's the last one that is correct.